Julie Smith. I'm going to talk to you today about the basics of mini Rex. Mini Rex are one of the most popular breeds in the American Rabbit Breeders Association. It's easy to see why. They have a nice small size, which makes it great for children, 4-H members, um, or small adults like myself to handle them. They can easily be picked up and handled. One hand turned over for examination. It's quite easy because they're a small breed and they have a fairly docile temperament. And everyone, of course, loves the Mini Rex fur. They have this nice, soft, short, plush fur that's created when the guard hairs are the same length as the undercoat. So it gives them a very velvety texture. It's very plush, resilient when you press into it, springy. It's very dense. There are a lot of um, hairs per square inch, which, which gives it a thick density. You hear us often talk about density and texture. The texture should be a nice, smooth, soft texture, not coarse or rough, and not too soft. It needs to have some resiliency to it. Um, this is Otto. He's a broken blue. Blue is a dilute form of black, so it gives us that nice gray-blue color. When we're looking at mini Rex, we're always going to evaluate them according to the American Rabbit Breeders Association Standard of Perfection. This nice little book that I have right here, this one will be outdated next year, so you'll need to buy a new one. But this is the Bible for all of us in rabbits. It has every breed description in here, and this is what the judges use when evaluating rabbits. So it has the breed standard for the mini Rex, has all the, um, the disqualifications, it has what we're looking for, and it has the point breakdown. With mini Rex, our points breakdown is 45 points on type, 35 of that is on the body, five on head, five on ears. We also have 35 points on fur. So the fur is nearly as important as the body type. Body type on a mini Rex, they are a compact breed. When we're evaluating body type, we're going to set the rabbit up. The tips of the front feet should be right below the eye. The back feet should be right below the hip. So we're going to set him up like so. He hasn't been posed in quite a while. This is Otto and um, he's had some nice wins. Now he's being used as a herd butt here. But when we are looking at Otto, we want to see a nice full shoulder that comes right up from behind the ears. No flat spot here. A nice rise to a high point that is right directly over the hip. And then it should round down to the table, not flat cut off. He's not undercut, meaning he's looking somewhat like this. He just has a nice round down to the table. When we look at him from the top, not easy to show you this, but he has a taper. His shoulders should be slightly narrower than his hip. Let me see if I can hold it for you. The shoulders are a little narrower than the hip. When viewed from the hind, set you back up here, buddy. should be nice and round over the top. No narrow pinched areas in the loin or the top of the hindquarters. Nice and round and full down at the table. When we look at the mini Rex's head, we like to, especially in bucks, see a nice full head. Short ears, the maximum length is 
three and a half inches. I always keep my little ruler out here. His ears are just shy of three inches, so he has really nice little ears. If I lean his ear forward, if I bend it forward, it should not come to the tip of his nose. I like to see the ear length in balance to the head. If that ear were to come to the tip of his nose, that would be a call in my barn. We also like to look at the head length, head and ears, a good test that I use. The head and ears together should be less than or equal to the rabbit's height, the depth of the rabbit. When we talk about depth, we talk about this point again over the hip. Here, buddy. All right, what are you making noise over there for? I like to use a pencil. This is a good um, little test that a friend of mine showed me a long time ago for evaluating mini wrecks. When we talk about in a standard a balanced animal, the depth or the height of the rabbit right over the hip where the high point is should be the same as the width of the rabbit. Let's see if I can show you its width. So we're seeing the width is about the same as the height. If you have too much depth and not enough width, that's a long animal. I don't like that. I don't want to see it in my barn. I'm looking for a balanced animal. And I'm also going to look at the head and ears. Here, bud. He says, this is ridiculous. If you measure from the tip of the nose to the tip of the ears, this should be the same or less than that depth. I don't want to see a rabbit with a long head and ears. I find it unattractive. Um, I'll show you an example of one that I have here. I, I'm keeping her for other purposes, for breeding wise, but I don't find her unattractive. This is a broken black doe. When I set her up, you'll see she has got a lot of depth. And I do like the fur on this animal. And you can see she's a very deep animal, but look at her high point. Her peak is over the middle of her back or even a little bit forward. So I would consider this animal to peak early and her width, buddy, I know it's just a girl. No, here, let's put you away. All right, this doe, if I set her up properly, you can see that her high point hits in front of her hip. I don't care for that. She has a lot of depth, but If you look at her width, it's really lacking in comparison to her depth. So she's a long rabbit. And if you look at her head and ears, come here girl. I find this to be a very unattractive rabbit. Her nose to ear is longer than her depth and width. So to me that makes it um, an unbalanced and unattractive animal. She does have some um, good points that I'm keeping her in my breeding herd temporarily for. She's got some really awesome um, density and she does have some nice depth, but um, we're kind of keeping her as an experiment. Uh, I wouldn't show this animal and I'm not going to keep any that look like her. I'm just going to show you a couple different varieties. This is Nick. He 
he's a two-year-old mini Rex buck. He's an opal. He'll set up here for me. He has quite nice tight can see that he peaks right over the hip where he should. He rounds down nicely to the table. He has a nice full and short shoulder. And he has pretty opal color. Opal is an agouti color and that means that each uh, strand of hair has three colors on it. So his base color is a slate blue he has an intermediate band of color, which is fawn, should be a nice bright fawn. And then he is tipped in blue. I'm gonna bring him close to the camera and we'll see if you can see that. Come here, buddy. Park his fur. Hi, still. Tuck you in there. Hopefully you can see the bands of color that he has. So this is Opal. He's not in a full show coat. He is a herd buck. He's a couple years old. Um, in an agouti, they will have their um, lacing around their ears, eyes, and jawline. And his belly color on an opal is white or a really pale fawn and it has an undercolor of blue. So that's opal. This is Mabel. She is a caster mini rex and she has a belly full of babies. <laughs> she is a little on the, the chunky side at the moment. But this is another one that you can see has just really solid tight, solid um, fur and good color. When you look at her, her high point is over the hip. And this chunky might have a little extra width going on right now with these babies. Her width matches her height. And I'd love to show you her color. Casters have lovely color. It's nice and rich and red. Hopefully this will show up on here. They have an undercolor of slate blue. The intermediate band should be a bright rufous rich red and they are tipped in black. So that is a caster color, and you can see the luster in her coat. Sometimes these mamas, when they're getting ready to have babies, have some of their best coats. It's nice and plush. There's a lot of density here, a lot of spring to the coat, and the texture is just quite lovely right now. So this is Mabel, soon to be mama. This is Pam. Pam wants to be wet. It's springtime in the barn. She's another nice example of what I am looking for in type. High point at the hip.
again. Nice and short and compact. Nice rise right out of the shoulder. She's got a lot of width at the shoulder that comes to a slightly fuller hip. She's got a pretty head and ears, a little bit of a dewlap she is also expecting. She's um, not, a, not a show doe anymore, she's a breeding doe. Tip of her nose to her ears, well below her height. She has nice short ears. These measure, I'm gonna guess, about three inches also. little shy of three inches. This is what I am breeding for in my barn. I like a short, compact animal. They don't have to be super tall as long as the high point is in the right place and it matches their width. I'm looking for balance and compactness. I want a pretty head and ears. I hope this is what you're looking for with your rabbits. I hope I gave you some good pointers to look at mini Rex as a beginning um, rabbit fancier. They're a wonderful breed. They've got great temperaments. They're easy to work with. They're good mothers for the most part, and um, they're just a lot of fun. And the mini Rex people are great. If you get together and go to the ARBA shows, we have a lot of fun. They've got great youth activities. If you want more information on Mini Rex, visit the National Mini Rex Rabbit Club's website or Facebook page. On Facebook, it's National Mini Rex Rabbit Club. On, uh, on the web, it's nmrrc.net, and you can find more information there about Mini Rex. I want to thank David Mall for inviting me to talk to you today about Mini Rex. They're my favorite. I've been raising them for 20 years, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you.